Inter Milan isn't just known for their solid defense, as is typical for many Italian teams. No, they're also the team that has scored the most goals in all five of Europe's top leagues. But what makes Inzaghi's team so strong? After watching several of their matches, one thing stands out to me immediately, flexibility. Inter demonstrates remarkable flexibility both in attack and in defense. Before we show practical examples from the last game against Atalanta, I'd like to explain the theory first so that you can better understand everything. Simply keeping the ball without a clear plan isn't the main aim of effective positional play. Instead, a well-organized distribution of players creates opportunities to pass the ball around within the team. The ultimate goal is to circulate the ball with precision until an opportunity presents itself to penetrate the opponent's defensive structure, whether by passing into or behind it. Positional play is designed to gain an advantage over the opponent, and this advantage should be exploited to advance towards the opponent's goal. As we play short here, always to find Nico, Vini, Nico, Vini, Dino, Gundo. You pass the ball to find that. You pass the ball because they jump. And when they jump, the space is here. They don't jump, it's alone. Short, go, commit, commit, commit. They don't commit, why do you have to commit? Because they jump. He stays the ball. When the ball is here, guys, when we are in that position, we pass back. What is the space? It's scary. When the ball is here, like that, it's the lead. What benefits can an attacking team get from smartly occupying spaces on the field? 1. Structural advantage. Our team is better organized by dividing the space effectively, giving us an edge over the opponent. 2. Dynamic advantage. Our team displays greater dynamism, allowing us to pick up speed and put pressure on the opponent. 3. Quantitative advantage. We outnumber the opponent near the ball. 4. Qualitative advantage. This refers to the individual quality of the players. Our players' actions promise a high probability of success. The advantages rarely occur individually. When a numerical advantage near the ball is created, the pace can be increased, leading to a dynamic advantage. Therefore, a team can utilize multiple advantages simultaneously. In today's video, we aim to demonstrate how dynamism can be generated. Dynamism means speed. Players create speed by picking up pace. This includes individual runs where players leave their positions, thus bringing dynamism into the game. However, such runs cannot be forced easily. If players were to start running into open spaces randomly, the structure of good positional play would be compromised. Especially, securing the defense after losing possession would become problematic if attackers simply sprinted towards the goal without a plan. Therefore, it is important to make agreements and set guidelines on when players are allowed to leave their positions to move into open space. One way to generate dynamism without abandoning our positional structure is through positional changes. When an attacking player leaves their position, another player takes over that position. The vacated space is then occupied by another player, and so on. Such rotation of positions ideally allows for building momentum towards the opponent's goal. Positional changes are particularly effective when the opponent employs strong man-marking tactics. The defender will follow the attacking player when they leave their position, creating space that another attacker can then occupy. Another simple way to create dynamism in the game is through the one-two passing combination. Essentially, this is a special form of a give-and-go or a triangular combination, depending on the number of players involved. In this scenario, an attacker receives the ball, often with their back to the opponent's goal, and lays it off for a teammate. Ideally, this teammate now has the ball at their feet and their eyes set on the opponent's goal. This kind of play is great for getting into a strong attacking position. An easy and effective tactical method to generate dynamism is called overlapping or underlapping. In this tactic, a player starts from a deeper position, sprints past the teammate with the ball, thus creating momentum. Essentially, this is a run into open space, with the condition that the initiating player begins the sprint behind the ball. Let's now return to Inter Milan. Inter can generate momentum like few other teams, especially through positional changes. They've nearly perfected this tactical aspect. Let's illustrate this with practical examples from their recent match against Atalanta.